So we are going to discuss the daily problem at GFG for today. So the problem is this way. Best note, what we are given is we are given N, array A and array P. Array A denotes value of nodes at that point. Like value of node 1 is 1, value of node 2 is 2, value of node 3 is 3. Parent array denotes that 1 has minus 1. It means 1 is rooted. Parent of 2 is 1 and parent of 3 is 1. So the tree is this way. 1 has the value 1, 2 has the value 2, 3 has the value 3. And parents of 2 and 3 are 1. Let's see another example. Here, array A, 3, 1, 2. Value of 1 is 3. Value of second, value of 1 node is 3. Value of second node is 1 and value of third node is 2. Parent of first node is minus 1. It means 1 is root of the tree. Parent of second node is 1 and parent of third node is 2. So third has parent 2 and 2 has parent 1. So, and in the end, we have to find this one. We can start from any node, but we have to go till leaf node and find this sum alternatively. So to do this, we can think that uh, if we, if I suppose this thing, like if I start from this node, three, one. So basically if I start from one, I have two options. I can go this way, one, two or one, three. If I go one, two, I'll get minus one. If I, if I go one, three, I'll get minus two, but we have the output three or if I stay on two, I get two. If I stay on three, I get the output three. So basically we need to find that maximum thing. Now let's see this case from one. If I go till three, then I have output as three minus one plus two, which is four. If I go from two to three, I have output as one minus two minus one. And if I stay on three, this is two. So maximum of four minus one and two is four. So we are printing out four here. So what the thing is actually is we just need to reach leaf nodes in whatever cost we can reach. So the easiest way to do so is find all the leaf nodes and move upwards because we have parents of them already stored. For Suppose if I am at this, uh, for example, in this example, the leaf node is the third node. So I have third node and I can go to second because I know the parent of third node is node two. So what I actually do is first I'm going to find what all my leaf nodes are. So I have taken a set of leaf nodes. Here I'm inserting all the values of all the possible values. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase all those values which are in P except for minus one. So I'm basically iterating from I is equals to one to less than P dot size. So that minus one is basically removed. So I remove all those things. And finally I find what are the leaf nodes and my leaf nodes are stored in this set. So once I store my leaf nodes, now I'll iterate on my leaf nodes and find maximum of answer every time. Like, while y not equal to one. For example, I am at leaf node three. What I will do is I will go to leaf node two by parent of y minus one this way. And, but I'll add the thing and then I'll take maximum answer is equal to maximum of answer comma answer one. And then what I will do is I'll revert answer. For example, uh, for first case, my answer one is two, but when I go up, I made it minus two. So minus two plus one is minus one, which is correct. When I go up again, it is one and one minus three is uh, minus one. Uh, it was minus one till here, but then minus one minus plus three. So this is four. So this is the way I'm doing it. And if I submit it, it should work fine. Yeah, exactly. It works fine. All the test case pass. So this is how it works. The solution is this way. Take a set, store what all leaf nodes are there and from leaf node, reach till root and till root, 
find all the possible answers that could be the answers and store in this answer variable. So every time you just got to take maximum of answer comma answer comma. So this is how you solve this problem. Um, this should be fine. Okay, enough. Thanks.